All right, so we are back on Randy's Fox Body. Um, originally, I told y'all that I wasn't going to be able to show y'all this, but actually, we can show you it now. So we're going to bring it to you and show you. So when you're installing a one-piece front end, um, of course, we've already went over that you got to line up all the tabs. I'm not going to be able to show you how to do that and how to figure out where they go, but I can show you the important step of up here how to put these on so since we had to cut these off so before somebody had them up too high or let's say they were like that okay or really they need to go down so that's what we did is we cut them off uh prepped the area for welding cleaned them all up and we are going to um take them on mike's going to tack them we're going to try to hold this thing in place we're probably going to have to shim this off because uh we do uh one of our complaints was that the outside of the edge of the fender if you watched the other video uh our complaint was that it wasn't um flush with this door so we're trying to bring this out so instead of it sitting tight like that we're gonna have to probably cut some shims and bring this thing out like this so it's gonna get a tack weld up here um on your uh pillar of your windshield and then it's going to get welded there so we've got to position it all like this you got to position up and down height wise um, and then you, you know, you got position in and out. So we got to get all that stuff right. We got to do both sides, take both sides on in place. That way everything um, fits right. And we want to fit it so that the top of the fenders, so that the top of your fenders sit flush with your cow. And hopefully the outside of your fenders sit flush with your door. And if the top of the fender sits flush with the cow, then um, you, um, your hood, you should be able to get your hood flush with the cow. Well, we're probably going to have to come in here when we remove this on the front end. For paint when we remove these uh, Zeus rails we're probably gonna have to um, open our holes up a little and lower our Zeus rails down because our hood sits a little above the Zeus rails and some of them are not straight so we'll probably dolly them you can see that buckle right there we'll probably dolly some of this back out straight and get it so that hopefully our hood sits a lot closer to flush with the outside of the fender and if you want to check out Mike's video Mike is putting a video on how to uh repair all of the spider cracks in this carbon fiber hood so he's putting together a tutorial um on how to go over that and i can link to his video in the description of this that way you can jump over there and check that out once it's posted once it's posted i can go back and edit mine and um post it for you but he's fixing randy's hood for him to grab these out of the scrap pile we don't know what thickness we need so just grab you three different ones you got a thin I got one that's a little bit thicker and then a real fat one. That way when we go to fit this up there, uh, we can just hold these between there and kind of figure out the uh, spacing that we need. And then you can cut little strips out of this to weld there to move that tab out. If you're working with brand new tabs, obviously, hopefully they're long enough where you can just trim them as you need uh, the spacing. But in our situation, we're going to have to move ours out. So we're going to have a small gap to fit. So whenever you actually now that this side's cut okay so it was up high when uh the side of your the side of your cowl kind of rolls like this okay that's extreme but it does roll in so the lower you push your fender down the more it brings the fender out so when you push this fender down like that okay where it's flat it actually sits really good across you can see right there from the door to the fender now our edge right here okay along the edge where I grind it all down, it's actually gonna to be too much now that we're gonna do it right. But when you take a straight edge and put on that, let me see if I can do this. When you put a straight edge across this and you step back to here, it actually looks really good. So all we gotta do is fill some out here, which we have to repair this edge anyway. This edge is damaged. So we're gonna to have to put a guy or a gel coat and everything repair this edge. So we're just gonna, um, by the time we sand and block all of our repair out, we should be good. I mean, that's, that's freaking nice right there. I mean, and there's no play. So, I mean, like the top's all good. My only issue, right there, you can see right there, a little bit of gap. So we're just gonna build this edge out some, um, not build it out, but when we repair this right here, you can see how it's split. So when he repairs that and put some all over here, that'd be perfect. But like I said, the top's already in good shape. It's just, we got that one area like right there, right there. So. 
we're in good shape on this side. We don't need a a, a, a shim or nothing. This side is just going to get melted right back to it. That side is going to end up getting this size. Um, Mike, what you say? How big this is? You think or how thick? Eighth inch? Yeah, probably about an eighth inch needs to come out on that side. Mike's just tacking that up now. He's basically just putting a big, good tack right across where the Zeus fastener goes. That's about all you need. That's actually way less than what it has. So Mike's is, you know, however long that is, a pretty good, pretty two and a half inches or so. And then what was on it, so I was just showing him if you look right here. So this is what the person did have on it. They had it from there to there a little tack from there to there and then they had this little one you can see from here to here and then they had this one from here to it was like here so they barely had anything holding that on and hey i mean it worked it never come undone i mean it welds weren't break it was good to go but that's not crc style we're not trying to be sitting on the line with randy hitting the bump box and his front end falls off so Mike's making sure that it's definitely, definitely gonna stay. So there's what our spacer ended up looking like. Doo -doo. Just a little strip, it's not doo-doo. And mm -hmm. all Mike's doing is just tacking it on. This is uh, the piece of the spacer I cut off. So you can see that it's, it's not very wide. Uh, you know, it's, it's that eighth of an inch thick, so just a little strip, that's all you needed.
right though. No, 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 you're good. I was saying just to line it up. All right, so we got it all fitted on there. Um, got it where it's nice. I had to pick this side up just a little bit tomorrow, minor adjustments, but I mean, you can see that that's freaking amazing like that. I mean, that's that looks good. I'm just a little sucked down a little bit right here, but I'm gonna pick that up tomorrow. So we got the sides out. Let me see. So we put our Zeus back in on this one. Okay. And our sides back where they look really good on the sides and then going this way they look good so that looks really good on that side it's fitting the whole lot better than it was and this side you just physically can't get these fenders down there more because they are actually wanting to hit inside here so they just won't go they won't go down no more without major uh, fiberglass modifications but it still looks really good i mean you can see just looking at it that it looks good i mean you put a straight edge on it and you have you have some gap right there okay but i mean you're not um you just can't get it so good that side up there looks really good but whenever i go to we get these out of here you know i'll sand just a touch off of that right there and then that will make that fit good but let's put this side on Okay, so when you put that side on, and you look at your door, I mean, we're pretty nice. You can tell how fat the edge of this door is right here. So a lot of this has to come out. When I body work this, uh, like tomorrow, I'll take some out of this because it's just way too thick. But overall, I mean, look at that, okay? That's where we want to be. That's where we want to be. And then it gets really nice down there. So that's exactly right. It's just right up here and you can literally see how fat it is. I mean, when they manufacture this door, they put a lot right on the edge. It needs to come off. So there it is. Mike's gonna fill in stuff like this. He's gonna make this more straight right here. Um, so there's not a gap when he does all the fiberglass work in on the work on the front, but it looked good. I think that's uh, it's amazing. So hopefully when you go to fit your front end on your car, you now know where you need to take a little more time at and make sure you get them down but you can only get them l brackets so far down because then you start uh you know having to deal with where it hits up inside there you can see up there it starts to hit all that and then you'd have to start clearance and even more stuff and you can't take you can't take this stuff out but so much because this is this is how it's built let me turn you around you know right here this is just how all of this fiberglass is built like you'd have to it would just look terrible if you started cutting all that stuff apart so but there it is i'm happy with it i think randy will be happy with it it'll fit good it'll look good after it's painted and it also gets uh we're gonna put the clear uh door edge protector around this which is gonna sit a little higher so it's gonna throw off your eyes on what uh, uh what it is how if it's actually perfect or not but and again, Mike will probably add a little bit to this one. I don't know. This side looks pretty good. So, yeah, door gaps look decent. I think we're going to add a little bit in here. But overall, that door gap looks really good. And then when you come around to this side, 
this door gap we don't have no complaints really on this it's just way too much material right here from when it was manufactured and then that down there is not buttoned in so it's loose but all the door gaps good so that's it for that that's how you would partially i guess the front half fit your l brackets on a one piece front end and uh you know i can't go over the tree because we're not doing that but hopefully you enjoy it and hopefully it helps you out